Hey guys, how's it going? Silver Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going to be a really quick demonstration on one of the most powerful lockpicking tools you can find in North America. What the tool is, is the Leashy Pick and Decoder tool. Why this tool is so powerful is that it can be found in some of the most common residential keyways that you can find in North America. What we have in front of us here is going to be the Quickset KW1. You can also find it in the Quickset KW5, the Schlage SC1, SC4, American Lock AM5, and the Best A Keyway. Why this is so important is because these are some very popular keyways that you're going to be able to run into. When you use this tool properly, you're going to be able to pick the lock very easily and then decode and cut a key in seconds. This is such a very powerful tool to have. And what I'm going to do is give a really quick demonstration on how it works for you right now. In order to get started, the first thing you want to do is make sure the tool that you're using is going to align up with the correct keyway. So I have the KW1 leash sheet and that's going to line up with the KW1 lock. Quickset does make a KW5 keyway, which is the 6-pin variant. You want to make sure that you're going to have the tool that's going to be able to accommodate all of the pens you're working with, because if I put the 5-pin Leashy into the 6-pin lock, I'm not going to be able to pick and decode the 6th pin, and that's going to make it an ineffective tool. So you always want to make sure that you're using the right Leashy for the right lock. What I'd like to do now is give you a quick overview of how this tool works. So looking on the back of the tool, you might not be able to see it in the video too well, but there is a tensioning arm, which I've moved on to this side to make the picking more easy. But you can flip it around by unscrewing a screw and put it on whichever side is easiest for you. And then you're going to take a look going across here. One, two, three, four, and five. These are all going to precisely line up with the key pen chamber, and you're going to line it up with this indicator here. This makes it really good because you're going to be able to always know exactly where you are in the lock, and that is a really powerful thing. And then looking on this side here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, these are all going to align up with the key pen link. So once you have the lock picked and turned over, you're going to be able to use this gauge, and you're going to be able to align it and see where it stops, and you're going to be able to find exactly which key pen length you are dealing with. And that's going to make it so that you can decode the lock and make a code cut key in just a few seconds. What I'm going to do now is show you how we can start to pick open this lock very quickly. In order to get started with picking this lock, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to insert our leashy tool. But I like to make sure that the pick arm is going to be all the way down so it's not going to be in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it with the warding and we're going to start to insert the tool. You're going to need to make sure the tool is all the way inside the keyway or else it's going to not be able to decode and pick correctly. So now that we have it inside, we're going to decide which direction we need to tension. Seeing that this is going to be a deadbolt, we're going to want to retract it. On this particular lock, I'm going to need to do clockwise tension. Then we're going to need to make sure our indicators on pen 1. It really depends on what you like to do, but I like to start off on pen 1. Now I'm going to apply some tension on this lock that has all standard pens, and we should get about a click out of each pen. So 1 doesn't feel like it's doing too much. We're going to move on to 2. Got a small click on 2. Three is binding up, got to click on three, four is binding up, see if we can get four to set, got to click on four, five is binding up, got to click on five, one, two, three, and the lock is now opened up. So now that we have the lock opened up, the next thing we're going to want to do is start the decoding process. One of the most important things you need to do is make sure, one, you do not relock the lock, and two, make sure the tool is fully inserted. If it's not fully inserted, you're not going to be able to do it correctly. So what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on the tool right now, and then we're going to start to decode this lock so we can see exactly what's going on. So when we take a look at the tool, we're going to want to get the indicator on the very first key pen. If I pull it out a little bit, you can see how we're not going to be able to decode it correctly. So now when I return the tool all the way to the inside, we're going to move over to one. We can see that the indicator is reading on key pen one, and it's going to be a six cut. So that means we're going to need a number six key pen in order to pen this lock, and that's going to be part of the bidding code for our code cut key. So we're going to need to write that down. So now moving on to two, we're going to see that that's going to be a four, Moving on to 3, we're going to see that that's a 4. Moving on to 4, we're going to see that that's a 2. And moving on to 5, we're going to see that that's a 2. So our bidding code is going to be 64422. 
we can combine that, we can take a look at our key and we can compare that to the code that we got, so 64422. We can very clearly tell that this is going to be a cut all the way at the bottom, so that is definitely going to be a 6, followed by a 4, a 4, a 2, and a 2. Why this is so powerful is because we are able to use this tool to precisely pick the lock, and then we can get the key code to this lock very quickly. If you have the bidding code 64422, you can go to any locksmith and say I have a KW1 key that needs to be cut to 64422, and they'll be able to make a code cut key for you in seconds. Many locksmiths will want to verify that you own the lock in some sort of way, so you may not be able to do it without having any relationship with them. But I just want to say that this is such a powerful tool because you can pick and decode a lock in just a few seconds. All of the types that this Leashy tool is made for come in the most common residential keyways that you're going to find in North America, and I just find this to be one of the most powerful tools out there. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.